All right, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. We're looking at a collection of body hammers. Uh, they're owned by Eric, and Eric's been uh, got a little bit of time off here, and he's been polishing his hammers. He's been meaning to do it for years, and he had a little time off, and he had a program. He wanted to make this one with a very flat face, so he's got it all nice and polished and a leveled face on it. It's a Martin hammer. This is another Martin. And this one, he put a, uh, a, a little bit of a convex face on it. Very similar hammer. This one has the round end versus the chisel end. This one has a chisel end also. And he put a stronger convex head on this one, on the face. And then he wanted, he had a couple marginal hammers and he wanted to uh, play around with them a little bit. So I have a bunch of little bits of different heat treatable um, drops. I had some A2 hanging around, and he welded a piece of A2 right on the the face here to give it a little more uh, mass at the head. He's got a really strong convex on the front. And these here, he did a really cool thing. Uh, it was so successful, he got a nice heat treat on that other, on this one. He got it, uh, just a heat treat with a, a, a standard acetylene torch with the A2, A2 is air cooling. So he took this one, this was a pick hammer, which has very little utility. We don't like to do picking and filing. We don't do that technique at all. Eric's not a fan of it either. So he wanted to put a nice little rounded end on here. It looked like this, this is one of my hammers, which I'm probably gonna do the same thing to. And he put a little piece of A2 on the end, welded it on, he treated it, and then he, he cleaned the face up too, cleaned it all up. He reset uh, a lot of the handles. And this one, he made a real bruiser out of it. This one, he put a much larger piece of A2, welded it on, he treated it, and then dressed it all up. He's got uh, a nice convex, rounded surface on that one also. So now he's got uh, some really nice hammers that were just, uh, you know, messed up from years of use and stuff and he had a little time and polished them up shows you some of the potential you can do with your body hammers don't be afraid of of uh, cleaning them up and modifying them a little bit and i think you'll have some really really good results we did a little bit of uh, raising the other day after watching doug Pryor's uh, youtube channel and this would actually be a really good raising hammer so i can't wait to try it out so I hope you found that useful. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. Thanks for watching.